Welcome back to the show. It's time for match two in this best of two, which is the only best of two here today for North America. There will be more North American best of twos tomorrow and other days, or Monday at least. So, Mirage, Immortals versus SK, and we're into it. SK charging through into the A fight. Not charging, actually, they're just standing there and firing guns. That they're going back. All of a sudden, they right. went in, and then they went back. Are they going to go in again? Uh, I don't know. Bit of the old in and out. <laughs> See if uh, they oh. <laughs> See if they uh, have greater success on the second attempt. More nades to be thrown, more damage to be done, but no kills to be had. Interesting. Still two players on Immortals sitting on the B1 site now. They have to move. Bomb has been planted on an A. Yeah, time to go, chat. Let's get moving. Bolt taken down. Lucas has still got control of CC. I say control. There are two T's standing there, and they're going to shoot him in the face. He's got no control over anything. Not even his own untimely demise. Henny's going to do some work in the meantime. Run distraction because there are more CTs coming from CT. Fair over towards Connector. We've got FNX in the sandwich position. And he will make mincemeat of the final players here for Immortals. A successful pistol run for SK. Bolt's going straight in for the force buy. Straight in for the force buy. So with that uh, scout pickup of Henny, I have to... We're really looking to see that very considered effort from SK on the anti force buy because they should know how, <laughs> how dangerous this guy can be with anything, but in particular the sniper rifles. So you want to see them not really facing too much. You want to see them making sure that they can gain ground with using their grenades and not really giving the opportunity to play for the shots. Don't allow Immortal to shoot. Or FNX, he can just go in there with the UMP and be the information man. He's got a clip one out, stick the boxes. He's got the tally there. And uh, he is now communicating with his team in Morse code. There is crimson on the walls. Bleep, bleep, bleep. And the bomb is rotating. However, we have a lurker over towards A. But it's Taco with an AK, which is a, which could be a little bit dangerous. Don't want to be giving up an AK in this situation. But it seems he doesn't want them to survive with anything. He will very quietly eliminate Henny. Go back to his little cave. And now he knows where the other two CTs are. And everyone is going to come in for the hunt. Bolt's in an awkward position. He's just a bait for Lucas, but I think Taco realizes it here as well. Lucas successful for the time being, but uh, surely he cannot save. Fallen's coming on the search now, and he's, he's looking for an upgrade. He's got himself a UMP, but he wants the latest models. He's done with the headphone cables. He wants to go wireless, and wireless he will go. Are you going to go wireless? I am, but not because of going wireless. Like, well, no, I'm going to use the adapter thing. Are you going to really? Yeah, because why? because I bought like why not, why I've got noise cancelling headphones. Why, why resist the future? Because my headphones cost me two hundred and forty pounds. That said, I'm well, that's a good reason. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah, I have the same ones, and also I will. Well, not I bought I bought a new phone. I'm not going to have to go wireless. Uh, I respect that. Yeah. It's good. Now it's full eco for immortals, so there's not really much for them to do here. Uh, hopefully for them they can get some fragging done, but nice approach here from SK, able to find their way around the side using connector and just getting onto the bomb site. So just the usual business really, just cleaning up the echoing CTs. That is a YOLO plant. Because Phelps is on short. But they don't care he's, at this got point. A, he's got a uh, PT-1000. How, how YOLO is it really? <laughs> <laughs> the YOLO is indeed limited then. It is it's 5%, limited, 5% YOLO. Yeah. <laughs> Minimal yellow. Minimal. I only want to upgrade my phone because uh, more data space, better camera, uh, longer battery, and some other nonsense reason. But that's enough about phones. Mag 7. What is it with these Mag 7s? It's Mirage. However, this is going towards the B-Bomb site. But the thing is, I don't really... In most cases, the Mag 7 kind of sucks Hey, in this position. I mean, I was going to say it, not in general. You, you can't say that. I love my Mag 7. This Okay, this this is a new position for a Mag 7. That's a new position. Um, normally, somebody's jumping with a Mag 7 or something and they get one kill and then they get wrecked. It's good for one kill in that position, but it, I, I would say you, you could get a CZ and have the same effectiveness. If you looked at it on average, 
Minus the anomaly rounds where someone gets like three, four kills, which is not going to happen almost any of the time. If you look at all the average rounds, I think it's a one kill position with a Mag 7. So I think you could just do the same with a CZ and maybe even get two kills. I would love, I would love to see research on that. Well, SK Gaming, they are going to be taking the slow approach. They're not even going, going to be testing B, really. They are going to go for a very delayed mid-take. And... I love that, you know, after some of the previous matches we saw today, you can see the deliberation from them. Henny, though, very good position, gets traded by design from SK as they start to move their way in to that A bomb site on which there are two players in close positions. It will be hard to break this for SK, but they have, well, they've got one flashback. So good luck. And the bomb's now down on the floor. That's, that's not good. Paco, clean up, clean up operation, though. Leaving Phelps and Zeus to do what they can. I'm not sure if Phelps can be seen. Obviously, he's putting his uh, his gun into the wall because the silence would give him away if he was holding the angle, especially with the silence M4. So it's fallen versus Phelps. 7 HP. All oh, the timing is unreal. So patient, but he just can't get the critical kill. Nice upgrade, though. And now the problem begins for Fallen. He has a nice angle to look on top of the connector stairs, though. Or the stairs, rather. But his head, oh dear, this could go either way. Fallen taking the pot shots, but he has no idea where Phelps is. No idea. <laughs> look at the panic, look at the panic. Going left and right, doing the best he can. Oh man, this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> but surely Phelps had to do it. The odds were high and he delivers, but Fallen made it as hard as possible. Yeah, they lost a lot too. I mean, we'll see in a second the uh, impact. And that's going to affect how SK want to play this round because they've got so much money to play with. And they're going to know that Immortals will spend everything here to buy up. So they're going to want to find the, the best round to play against this. And oftentimes you can... Th there's loads of different approaches to this. Some teams really like to go for the contact, fast contact plays. I think that can be really fun as well. Uh, just to immediately try to break the team. You know, go to a very fast pace. Some teams like to go for a very slow pace. They like to go for the opposite. And some teams just like to keep it normal. Go play your defaults out and see you know what opportunities you can get. I think that often is going to be the probably one of the better solutions. So it's a technical pause, and hopefully it's nothing too serious. But I would it's, like to see SK Gaming just going with that delayed mid-take. Take a delayed mid-take, see if you can get connector, see if you can get window room. Or uh, rather, uh, well, window, that would be nice, but also ladder room. And then go from there. I think SK uh, Gaming are a team that can very well pull that off. So why not? Perhaps we will find out on this round. Five AKs on the T side. Something Dignitas like to do. Uh, wow. I, I like the fast play through the smoke. I like it. Doesn't go doesn't go well on this occasion, but uh, quite often people are just not looking yeah. at T ramp on Mirage when there's a smoke there. The CT side that is. Gamble hasn't paid off though, but we'll see if uh, they can recover SK in the situation. Looking unlikely with Henny on the uh, hunt, that's for sure. Yeah, this is that, that fast play I was talking about, and uh, I didn't actually expect it out of SK. A lot of teams do do it, but as you said, it's just not really working out for them. They, Immortals are very ready for this. And if you just don't get those entries, then boom. It's it's pretty much over from that point, and that's more or less what happens. So Immortals would feel very good with that. They lost only a single player. And for SK, the, the funny thing is that imagine if they'd gotten a bomb down. They could still, they would have a probably a normal looking by but now they're going to have to have some tech nines have uh, a lack of grenades but they still got a lot of options in a round like this uh, three smokes four flashes two molotovs and the push here from Phelps ooh the pop flash as well so we saw this earlier from I forgot the player but he just charged up the stairs Ho immediately Hooch, I think yeah it was from Hooch yeah which looked absolutely crazy Phelps will have some more patience but uh, you can see Phelps just holding an off angle and then took it by surprise early disadvantage for Immortals and perhaps that AK can be collected or whatever weapon it was can be collected by uh, Cold who is currently rocking just a Tech-9 and he is well he's in T-spawn at the moment but he can move and collect it there although if the time isn't favourable they may just ignore that and go and do what they need to do in fact Cold's going to be the great man in mid for the time being but the entire SK team are pretty much looking to make it towards B they're lining up for grenades and such Ooh, it's a grenade towards short. I think it might be for CPL. Well, there's a few places it could go. Either way, it seems they will uh, not focus on getting the weapon and move into the site. Tech Knight's going to be powerful there as well. He's trying to hold things down, but 
They are all over him before he can fire enough shots. Yeah, what an approach here. Oh no. <laughs> ah, new. Immortals will lose bolts as well. There's just no way surely they can... Oh no, <laughs> it gets worse. He's getting worse. I'm like, oh, you know, Henny will be able to take a nice shot there and save. Nope. Gets killed as well. Yep. Instant headshot. And that's the uh, AWP gone. Nice upgrade for Cold to take. Cold will love that AWP. He'll be loving it. He'll nurture it. He will cultivate great health for that AWP. But will he make a nest out of dead lemmings, Dan? It will not be wasted. Keep it warm. I don't think he's that kind of guy. Like an owl. I don't think he is that kind of guy, James. Some people, you know, you just know. But I that think they might make a nest out of 70 dead lemmings. Exactly. That's crazy. Owls are crazy. Lucas eventually goes down. Nothing will be saved. Nothing will be scavenged by the CT side. There will be no scrap. There will be no crafting. Is it crafting in games where you get like scrap stuff and you craft? Do you craft in games? <laughs> Is it craft crafting when you craft? Is that what you just asked me? Potentially it is. <laughs> Moving swiftly on, four versus two, not four versus two, it's four. The score is four to two. My brain is falling apart. SK moving quickly into the middle area. Immortals on the eco, as we can see. Phelps has picked up some Kevlar, but other than that, there's not much going on. Other than the off switch being pressed on these immortal players one by one. Lucas has gone for a push through Palace. Now he can just choose to stay there. And if the bomb ends up in the A site, he can potentially walk out and get a cheeky frag. But with four to five SK players probably being in that scenario, it's a fair chance that somebody will be looking at Palace. There is a blind spot in Palace as well. So uh, if you're a CT in there and a T pushes from the A site, you can try and get a, a knife, a surprise knife, a chance knife. And uh, no, Lucas is not going to wait. He is going to come out and expose himself. And now he's dead. Well, that's a sad tale. You're exposed, now you're dead. I would have liked him to stay in Palace. But he had other ideas, Dad. Like a king, like a, a prince. With all the uh, the finery, the, they have nice teapots in there, you know. I have tea as well. What? And I have tea. You have tea? Yeah. Oh. Um, so we ha we'll have now the push into mid from SK. Oh, and will we get the response here from Immortals? They are, oh, the pace is so fast. Look at how blindingly oh, quick it is. Henny tried to peek into middle, gets dropped immediately by Fallen. And the this is this fast connector play reminds me of some of the stuff you would see out of uh, MSL and also uh, some Polish teams. Face you know, Clan. Really fast. Also Face Clan, they picked that up too. That really fast play out of connector. You see, you know, A... Uh, slip rushes, but some teams who don't have the AWP or their economy is poor, it's kind of like Dust 2. They won't be confident to peak mid necessarily early into the round from window. So if they peak connector, they're going to be in a much more committed position. So if you actually rush down middle very quickly for the connector rush, they can't fall back. So they have to frag you and multiple players who are oncoming for your for the trade, or they die. And well, or they just yeah, but they, they're going to die there. It just depends on how many people they take down with them. That's the point. So I love that from SK. And I think, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense reading into the opponent's options and selecting one of the better uh, the better decisions there. Very nicely done. And that's going to cripple Immortals. Indeed. A familiar story to train, perhaps, we will witness in the first third of this map. Round 9 or 10 in the first third, if you like your thirds. Remember the days of fractions in school? Thirds, quarters, fifths. Yeah, so useful today. Up to eighths, indeed, yeah. We use them in Counter Strike every day. Fractions. I'm um, one half like you are whipping your ass. I was about to say, <laughs> like you're a fraction as good as me, Jay. Wow. Counter Strike. Wow. One on one, let's go. See you on land. I'll fight you. I'm done for that. That will require two hours of warm-up time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. When I went to I-Series last year with a team, I went two hours early before our matches and just deathmatch for two hours to get oh all the God. derp out of the way. All the, all, the, all the stupid things you see on stream where I have my crosshair on somebody and then flick off them when I'm warping and all that kind of nonsense. Just get out of the system, two hours of play, and then I'm a much better player. Two to seven.
We'll see if Immortals, who are a lot better than I am, can uh, get back to winning ways. Back on the buy, back though with limited utility. Focusing on mid for the time being. Henny is with the AWP in connector and Bolts has a passive angle at the moment. I he's looking towards uh, Palace actually, rather, I assume, from where he is. Yes. So, so SK slowing down the pace on this occasion. Not wanting to be readable by their opponents. Keep them surprised, keep them on their toes. Now, is this a run boost or just a cheeky... Ah, oh, I love that. That's, that's what Simple Lord always requests. He's like, guys, run boost me and I will kill them. And he does. Brilliant. Ooh, does Henny dare go back to the well? Four players in mid all of a sudden for SK Gaming with just under a minute on the clock moving towards Connector now. We've got Phelps close towards short. But uh, with two players in Connector, you have to be sure that one of those is looking in his direction. Fallen moving away now. And they will leave Fur in that position. So they can split towards A, they can split towards B. There is a player already in Palace. Phelps really wants to see what's going on. <laughs> he really wants to see what's going on, but he won't. The rotation comes in for SK, and they are making their way into A. They've positioned their man, which is Fur, into Connector, and now they are ready for the triple front attack. We have phases to this push. That is not a nice shot to miss, though, from Fallen. I wonder if he'll get a second go of it. That incendiary Ooh. will delay him. And that's another tag there. Look at the health here on all the SK Gaming players. Oh, I don't... Okay, health does not matter because all the kills. They got all the kills. <laughs> this is spraying wildly <laughs> all over the time. place. And it's going to be a timeout win for Immortals. What just happened? Everyone in Immortals died, though. That's so weird. <laughs> that's <laughs> bonkers weird. because this is a situation where they could legit... Like, eco after winning the round. <laughs> that, there's an argument for an eco this round for Immortals after winning the round. I've never seen one before, but that's as close, surely, to one as you're going to get. Because, I mean, look at what they're buying. It's a mess. It does suck. At least, at least they have some grenades, but they did lose Honey straight away. Well, there's always hope and faith and belief or something. Not much of a man for those things, but... Oh, some people believe in Kawanza then. Really? Yeah, uh, whatever that is. Are you one of those people? No. Okay. What do you believe in? Well, I, I believe in justice. <laughs> Raining above? From a scout, perhaps. Scout, scout From justice. a deagle. From a P250. I thought, An I thought honest it, P250. I thought it was about the, uh, the P90 for you. P90 is uh, actually yeah no that's very true yeah it is it does you're inconsistent the P90 delivers people from evil that's for sure so justice can be found in many uh, in many forms particularly in the in my guns of choice so we have another pause coming in um, can we see the scoreboard very quickly I just want to see how many rounds okay so SK had won four rounds in a row before they lost that round after. That's a really weird round, don't you think? <laughs> it's it, super weird. I, I actually... I'm going to make a video about that round because I think... I, w I would like to know what people think. Because I, cause I think one argument will be... I think one argument will be you can't you can't eco after winning a round without any further statement. But you require a further statement. You've got to look at everything that's considered. I'm not saying they should have ecoed, but I'm saying should they have ecoed? It's a question. It's really weird because I mean everybody died, so everyone everyone was on. Uh, it was timeout. It was not bomb defusal, so it's thirty, everyone got, everyone got thirty two fifty from it. I think so. Uh, it just and and the thing is, SK Gaming had three players alive, but also they had a very good economy themselves. Yeah, they had tons of money, tons. So it's it's a weird one. Also, Mirage is not a map where you can really easily pull off bad buys as CTs. So, and with one save, they would get $1,400, which is also... Because that's the other problem, right? Is that because they just won a round, they, they, <laughs> they get $1,400 immediately for if they lose, you know, because they eco, right? So... Yeah. So they would have had... They could have had 40... <laughs> they could have had, like, roughly $4,700 on average. 
I mean, one of the arguments that helps you is that SK Gaming's economy was strong, so there was no I impact really that Immortals could have had from an immediate buy to pressure their economy because their economy is already yeah. good. So, in that sense, it's just your own buy. And so, in that sense, you kind of, it, yeah, it's also ignoring. It's, it's weird. Ignoring the second round loss bonus, which they would normally get. If they had lost that round, would they have forced bought? Assuming they would get fourteen hundred dollars for the next round, which is a scenario which doesn't exist. But let's create a vacuum I and mean, put that scenario in there. I feel like they should have just bought UMPs though. Anyway, I don't know why we saw like scouts, mag sevens, and stuff like that. I feel like UMPs would have been a better decision too. I'm telling you, man, Max, the mag seven meta needs to change on B because you could buy a CZ and nades instead, and you're gonna have a much better time, in my opinion. So, we have a five-round deficit for Immortals. They are on an eco round now after a failed force buy, after winning a round, which, yes, this is a weird scenario. It's a weird scenario, it's an odd scenario. Lucas, first of all. Yeah, it's a moment like that really kind of throws you off. Off kilter of what is the normal sort of pace of a game, what normally sort of tends to happen. It's a Twilight Zone. And SK Gaming just playing this one really slowly. Wow. Was that... What even range was that? That was from shorts. What even range was that? Okay, that's... What even range was that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. What even Engelska. range was that? England. So, 40 seconds on the clock. Bombs lurking towards A, but they're running out of players, and soon Immortals are going to have weapons. These SK players need to move quickly. We've got... What was that? Grenade being thrown? Yeah. Where did they get grenades from? Oh, dear. This is falling apart. Taco, just run in and die. Can't even do that. He will die in the palace. By the T. Well, Oops. that was that was just a collapse of everything. Sometimes... Everything goes bad. Sometimes the milk goes bad. Sometimes even the malted bread will go bad. And SK's malted bread went bad. But they're back on the buy. They've got more money and they still got more cash, I think, after this. Sometimes those uh, numbers aren't up to date beyond the scoreboard. But anyway, we'll focus on this one. Orp onto both sides. Immortals have stolen all kinds of booty and bounty. And uh, we have the push from Apartments, from SK Gaming. Or I say a push, but it's more just like a poke again. The early, the classic early round pokes, get the reactions, remove some of the nades. And sometimes you get lucky in your engagements. But uh, SK Gaming, I feel like they're likely to try to go for that mid take, uh, using underpass and top mid. But Henny's position is rather devilish. Rather devilish. <laughs> GG. There is the GG. <laughs> See you later. It appears we have a recovery on our hands. I love that that position as well, when you can get into that spot. It's a bit gambly to try to attempt that, but once you're in there, it's just like, well, you get the opportunity to hit the shot. Well, you get the shots. If you hit them, that is it's almost, well, almost impossible to recover from, as you can see. It's almost impossible. And Henny, he hasn't had too many chances to really shine, but there was one. He shot, he shone. <laughs> like a star. Oh dear. Like a like a glittery sticker on a small girl's homework. <laughs> so I was like, where is he going with this? Where is he going with this? I wonder. <laughs> there our pauses here. So five to eight. Immortals, as you say, they are making that unlikely recovery. And honestly, the match was going in such a weird way. It started to like it felt like all the tempo, all the pace that had been set here or there, sort of, kind of got reset in a, in, a, in a way. Yeah. Because of all of that madness. The brakes have been hit on the progress of SK, but this could be their last full buy coming in, and they are just charging to their doom at the moment. Lucas with a 3k in the middle of mid on his own, done great work for his team, and there goes Fur, fallen, top of short, is alone. He hasn't, he's forgot to collect the bomb. Picks it up this time. The interesting thing here is, with all that action in mid, he can't be mid, right? He's, he must have run off. 
which is maybe the idea that he's playing with at the moment. Bolts, though, moving towards the connector area. Oh, Fallen's looking the wrong way. But uh, there we go. Bolts turns back around and takes him down. So the weird thing is, or rather the strong thing for Immortals is that the, one of the great ways they won the last two rounds is by playing aggressively on middle. And it stops SK Gaming from actually developing their rounds. We can see them having strong rounds in spots where they can take middle control. They can implant a player in one of those forward positions, be it connector, be it window, be it ladder room. Then they build the round from that. But each time now, SK Gaming, their opener, they get shut down at phase one because of the aggression. And this is really an important way that you need to play against very, very top level teams. You cannot just let them execute their routine. And you have to force them into awkward spots, into hard decisions. That is how you beat very good players and teams. It is the rule. And that's what Immortals did quite well the last two rounds. But unfortunately for them, they still can't actually break SK because they have so much money. I mean, their buy is a little bit lackluster here, but maybe that they can a, get it done. That is a really weird peak that Immortals are going for there. Boosting, uh, they were boosting one player on the other, but they were boosting a player in the position where you would jump on the box anyway, which is an angle. If you look at JDM, for example, when he has an AWP on Mirage, Team Mirage, he'll often go towards B and look for somebody to jump on that box and just wreck them immediately. So this is a very odd peak coming in from Immortals. I don't understand uh, the advantages of that versus jumping on a box because you saw them pop up in the first place. Maybe they're not aware that they do that. Or maybe it's because of the changes in the game recently with jumping and other things. One man down both sides. The entire SK side trying to push the back, but they're still stuck in the choke points at the moment. They aren't able to move over. Now suddenly they're moving around the connected area. The smoke's are down, and maybe the bomb will go down as well. Yeah, big take coming in. This uh, even numbers, and that flank is a bit worrying from Phelps. So let's see if that comes into play. He doesn't have a silencer, but he's coming from the palace area. And that is actually where Cold is standing. So Cold, there's no way that Cold ever understands this is about to happen. The knife is, is absolutely real right now. Bring it out. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. But Fallen responds quite quickly. But it's down to Fallen now as he's the only man standing. Has to ace this. He wants to finish off this round as a victory for SK Gaming. Two more players. Eight bullets to try to do it with. Can't get past the next hurdle. And the bomb will be defused. Immortals win the round. A 7-8. I am impressed that they managed to bring it back. Interestingly, I don't know why SK planted on that side of default in the first place. Because they had a smoke down for Connector Jungle. They had a smoke down for the stairs. They didn't have a smoke down on CT. It gives you, if you plant, plant on the other side of this, it gives you more protection from CT. Not entire, not complete protection though. But the, the bomb plant had to run past that plant spot to plant it here in the first place. So I think uh, a better plant in that situation, perhaps a more efficient one, would have been to plant it on the other side. And also, if you are if you have to plant default instead of triple box on the T side, it's going to be harder for you to defend the bomb if it's planted for default. So if you plant it on the inverse side of default, then you've got more places to defend the bomb from, including you can still defend it from CT. Uh, they didn't have it on that occasion, but it can be defended from there in general. So I think they missed a trick there. And now SK are uh, going to have three headshots coming into the A box fight. And everyone is going to die from Immortals. Headshots courtesy of the CT side, and that is three players who get a helmet for $350 as well. It is a glorious round for SK. And they can do quite well if they manage to stop the Immortals for Spy Rush. I imagine it's going to be a rush. Where are they going to go? That is the question. Well, looks like they're going to be going into the B apartments with the majority of their players. Three or two, only two actually, in fact. So, a bit spread out here, and the bomb is on middle too, so maybe the B split is in order. Or ultimately, they could try to find their way down into through overpass, un, overpass, underpass, through another map entirely, into the connector area, into that the A split after it really looking like a B play. But the thing is, SK Gaming are playing very actively. Taco is pushing the B apartments to understand that the play is likely coming in towards A. So SK Gaming will understand what's going to happen before it happens. Oh, look at the positional Phelps too. You look at this in CT spawn. Where is Zeus? Oh, there he is. And now he's dead. And now everyone has almost complete information in the sense that Immortals know what SK know. And SK know where Immortals are not, at least over towards B. But uh, what choice do Immortals have at this point? Well, Phelps is in CT spawn, so this is going to get super weird. Because look at the position of Fur with the auto shotgun. 
Hasn't been spotted because he's on the other side of default. There we go. Phelps surely just saw him. Surely, yeah, he's come on already. He's like, what? What's that? Ferg gets taken down, and now there's an open box site. But uh, paths must be crossed, and I don't think they've got the smoke grenades to do it, or any grenades at all, apart from one flash of bolts. Really happy Phelps didn't take the long-range engagement with the Tech 9. The ace going to work his way around the back instead, trying very carefully to make it his way around safely, but he's got to make sure he gets there before his teammates all die. Can't quite finish off Cole. Brings him down to 14. Bomb is ticking away though. There are kits, there is flanks as well, and that's the round for SK. From the back. And uh, ooh, important round. Very strange positioning all across the map, actually, in the middle round. It's quite funny to witness, but it will be SK. 10 to 7. 10 to 7. Can they get the 2 0? This is an opportunity for them to get a bit closer as the money on Immortals is somewhat limited. And it looks like they will be going for the eco. They don't have all the choices in the world at the moment. And SK are expecting. As the phrase goes, England expects. Well, it seems Brazil expects as well. UMP, we're on two players. And the MP9 onto Fur. Well, that's a normal gun for Fur. That said, not normally when he's in the, the CT side. And, and this just shows you SK are expecting uh, an eco in all facets of this, this A area. But uh, let's see if they can just clean up Phelps and the situation. Spray will do it. So, I mean, for those of you at home who play Pugs, etc., if there's a team on Eco, sometimes you don't want to play your default positions, go under Shadow, etc. If they have P250s and so on, you, you don't want to get isolated and give up an M4. You see, even with an MP9, which you want to play close normally first, playing from CT, they got a guy jungle as well. They, they, the A site is empty, basically. So they have maximum range and the crossfire to just clean out those players one by one as they come in. So it reduces variance risk and the picking up of weapons should a player go down. Speaking of going down, FNX has fallen immediately over towards the A sites. It's good. Oh, okay, it's getting even better there. Oh, okay, Cold is the only guy to respond, but he needs to get himself over towards that A bomb site. Ferris alone with 15 health. He is the last standing defense there. But that said, overall, SK Gaming did equalize on the numbers, but Bolts' position on that bench is going to provide issue there. As Cold approaches, it's going to find Bolts close range. Hits the shot. That's an important one. Now, things get interesting. Can the bomb go down? Where does Cold go? He's going back towards B. Immortals delaying just long enough, hiding just long enough to create some doubts to force Cold back to the B bomb site. Cold is so far away from Taco, that Taco is going to have to make a big, big play all by himself if he wants to stop this round right now. Waiting for Lucas to re-emerge. But Cold, he must, if he is fed information from his teammate, then he might find Lucas. But Lucas has made the way into jungle, and Henny in mid <laughs> is going to GG the round, basically. Well, you would never expect that. Like <laughs> That's so insane, isn't yeah. it? Well, he's flanking me in mid. What? There's only two of them left. How does that make sense? Taco can only do so much. Baits the shot. Can't go for the hero defuse. Or perhaps he could have. Who knows? Either way, he will be stabbing the wall as he dies. Yeah, I like that. Let's, let me stick these these in there. Goodbye, Cole. Let's go in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven to eight. Immortals finding themselves a nice one there. Trying to and and you can see the timing of of winning that round. You know, had SK picked up another round before that happens, they have uh, potentially another buy. But right now, both teams have no money, so. Immortals get an opportunity with that timing to switch things up, up and we have a very fast approach down middle from Immortals. Wow, this is really fast. Look at the positioning here. Already in connector, already in ladder room, and there's only 10 seconds gone on the round. Okay, no wait, 20 seconds. It's 155 these days. <laughs> Not 145 anymore. Everybody waiting for someone to appear. First being taken down. What is the response from SK? They don't have eyes now towards shorts. They could be split in either direction. Lucas is in connector. Phelps is now in CPL. They've got players in B apps. Phelps is being taken down there by Cold with that trusty Caesar. You see? Can have that over towards B. Don't need a Mag 7. F and X. We'll take Lucas. So that's a man advantage for SK. 
The rest of the players moving towards B. Taco perhaps spotting some of them doing what he can, but there's a P90 charging in. The P90 will deliver the glory as per usual, but only to one peasants. <laughs> Bomb getting planted, man advantage for SK. Harsh words. <laughs> Calling Cole the peasant. It wasn't him specifically, but you know, it's just a, it was, with, it was, it's the law with the P90. It was far attacker, wasn't it? I, I forget. Anyway, Cole, very much not a peasant, will make his way forwards. And this position is very nice. And that is why. Don't really expect that bit of an off angle for the tease. And he gets shot in the back. In the and back. And SK Gaming take the round. Oh my goodness, that's a nice bridge. Nice bridge position there. Although his, his arms are not fully extended, I'll take it. <laughs> what I meant to say was Disciple, but the only word I could <laughs> think peasant. of was Peasant. Wow. So I was like, all right, let's go with Peasant. I've got I to gotta finish the sentence, right? <laughs> got to finish the sentence, damn it. Did you say damn it? You did. I you think did. I did, yeah. You said it's, it. It's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Three Tech Nines for Immortals, and uh, likely a fast round to go with that. SK Gaming uh, doing quite well now. They're back on the double AWP. Cold is on one of those two AWPs. He will be AWPing towards shorts this round. And as you do, just just hold it over the smoke Easy and does hold it. it. Hold down mouse one. Easy. Hold down mouse one. The conspiracy theory is going to be fapping hard tonight. <laughs> <laughs> We've got three players for Immortals moving over towards B bomb site in a moment. The Tech Knights are real. The odd AKs here, is here or there. Oh, Zeus almost missing Taco completely. But that is an open B bomb site now. Man advantage for the T's. What is SK's play in this situation? Zeus going for the reload, and he will be taken down. Bolt going for the pop flash. Fur has the double peak, and that's going to be too long spent going for that one. We have the flank coming in, though. That's a really important kill. That's going to distract players, maybe. Henny's in that spot to deal with FNX. FX, otherwise, he needs to look down there by the van. Otherwise, oh, if he can get that kill, that makes it good. Oh, spots Henny. That's the info. Info is great. I love info. It's fantastic. It could win the round here for Fallen. He misses the frag. Can he follow up, though? Yes, it happens. Fallen able to take down Henny. That was very, very close. Obscuring Cold's dedicated spray with the blood of Henny. His four-man op spray. Three rounds away from a 2-0 RSK now. Eco round for Immortals. I wonder how much that picks up on the mic. Or the bell. With these mics, yeah. You have to like put the mic close to it. Put the bell in your I face. I don't want to blow anyone's ears up. I mean, mine's already blown up from diving, so let's not spread the spread the injuries around. I don't know how you spread injuries, but let's just but punch people that. in the face. What? Punch people in the face, spread injuries. I that suppose was, that's that yeah, spread that injuries. Te technically spreading injuries, yes. <laughs> Okay, well, it's like uh, Immortals are going to go for that delay B play. Actually, it's contact so far. It's just they're just creeping. They be creeping. Now they spotted. Now they rush. Now they go. Now they frag. Immortals coming in like, we heard there was a party. There were parties on B. And the rest of SK want to join as well. Perhaps there's barbecue. Although maybe they'll leave. Because there's two players left and all their teammates are dead on the site. They've realized it's not a party after all. Nothing but body bags on B. Immortals have gone for a... Nice play, and there's not much SK can do in this situation. Immortals will collect three weapons from this round, all M4s. And Phelps is already hunting for these other CTs. That is just rude. Fur over towards CT spawn, and Fallen will do his best to save the AWP elsewhere. Phelps hears a sound. Knife, cheeky knife, cheeky knife. Nice. Can't knife fallen though. Can't he knife fallen. is unknifeable. Don't work. They all get knifed. It out. is in the game code. You they can't. You can't knife. They all fall first. No pun intended. Had it here first. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, that that one sucked. I d that was, <laughs> it was awful. An accident. It was an accident. I didn't know what I'd done until I'd done it. <laughs> Diminished responsibility, I think they call it. Mitigating factor. Four players towards A. Immortals have Phelps top mid. Who can perhaps look? Try to cut off rotators. Rotators. Bob moving into Palace with supports. Want to try and uh, 
spread out so they don't all get funneled in lower A. And Fops has made his way quietly towards Connector now, and Cold will go down for free. 180 is real, and uh, Fops gets the kill onto Fur eventually. That is most of SK dealt with. 417 HP. Would like to save this weapon, but Phelps is already in position, and he'll just wait for him to cross. And cross. He will. Oh, no. That is pretty brutal. Everyone losing out there, and it's a wipeout. It is a complete wipeout. Immortals coming back. Phelps with a strong 4K. So, uh, launching themselves into the bomb site and having a great success. Great success. Well then, SK on the eco now, and Immortals can play the catch-up game. And they've got loads of money in the bank. Phelps on $9,900. So we can't expect as much from SK in this situation. Seen a lot of eco rounds from both sides in this map. It's been a difficult journey. And uh, Taco's like, whoops. I will just make my exit from here. Under the window, always a good spot. When uh, there's pushes on to B with Na'Vi, you can see C's playing in that position, allowing his teammate to uh, play the bait from him from the bench position or maybe somewhere else. And he will just mop up as they fall. Like Lemmings to be used by now. Immortals yeah, uh, about to jump in into this snack. It's going to be fun times. Maybe not so fun times. First headshot comes in from Fur, but we get the trades and control is had. They're calm in the situation right down. Be calm. Be patient. Be tranquil. Tranquility is restored to the round. Right then. Next uh, next opportunity for SK to try and get back to winning ways. Got some utility here and there. Whereas Immortals are full. They're to the brim. The glass is at 100% capacity over on Immortals. Number of players heading top mid. Bomb left in their passive position. Doesn't give too much away at the moment. One towards A and one towards B. Fur can't even get into position. Phelps is there for days. That's sometimes, kind of nuts. Sometimes you get killed from a player in the chair position. But not from just the middle of short like that. Yeah, that's really crazy. That's very unexpected. And it's fast mid control. Again, like they can, they should be bringing the bomb back towards A now. Uh, well, they don't have to go A, but the majority of the players are towards there. So you would expect that to be the case. And Phelps, he goes down. And that, that really sucks, actually, because Phelps is in a position where he can just sit there for ages, wait for his teammates to get into position first before he, you know, makes the move. That's one option, of course. Because um, just now, are they in a position to go in? And. Lucas. Lucas has been hitting some great shots. That is one more added to the tally. As it's going to be a fast plant here for Immortals. It should be two more. Where's the inverse plant, man? Yeah. Don't need to plant there. Not necessary. Taco. Can he get a two-man spray down? Indeed. Well, Colt's going to steal the other one. And now Henny is alone in T-Ramp. And he's going to get flashed. Probably even twice. So let's see what he can do. And now, not only is they... Oh, Henny is so good with the all but not good enough in this situation. Dire situation for Henny. And again, the plant is just bad for T's when you plant default. Plant on the inverse side. You had the smoke down in jungle. You got people in connector. Why are you planting for CT? You should call them and ask. 0891 Immortals. <laughs> Well, I guess 1-800 Immortals, since they are in uh, North we, America. We should have like, a phone game. which just immediately calls only Fallen. The, you know, we can get advice from him on things in life. I hugged him once and his nose bled. Really? Yeah. I'm too much man for really? him. Really? Yeah. It's funny because in... Well, we have to hold this... We'll come back to this. <laughs> We've got the around playing out. We've got Lucas in connector again. And uh, we got three players basically on B. And SK are in this weird spot where they don't when really I have... When they bleed that. We, they don't really have much information. So they, they kind of make it... Because uh, Immortals are taking mid away. And SK don't seem willing to try to retake middle. So, oh, that is... Oh, how does FNX survive that? In fact, get the kill as well. But the point is that I was trying to make here is that SK have to go for gambles because they don't have the info. And one of the gambles here is that they've got one guy in shop and two guys on the B site. And that's actually where the bomb's going. So this looks really good for SK, to be honest. Let's see what Fur will get done with this Mag 7. This Mag 7, which I have developed a problem with today. 
Bear in mind, there's also that nerf to to jumping weapons. I do wonder how it's affected the Mag 7. Maybe I'll ask uh, Slow Squadron to have a butcher's at that. So it's starting to move in. Cold gets taken down, and he is going to get the 180. Taco in a nasty position, and Fur biding his time, going to get the one frag with the Mag 7. I mean, the plus side oh. is the Mag 7. That's yeah, that's interesting. The plus side is the Mag 7 has. The higher loss bonus, uh, kill bonus, excuse me, and it, and a lot of people feel like yes, the uh, CZ kill bonus has not been adjusted since it was nerfed. You know what they should have done with to the R8? They should have left it and then make it so that if you kill people with it, you lose money. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you get if you minus kill someone, it, someone on your team dies as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get slayed at random. <laughs> Could even be you. That's that's the the, the penalty. <laughs> yeah, Pass round. Mod. Here from Immortals back into middle. We got uh, first standing in in connector though, but he doesn't have much support here because of course losing FNX early on. It doesn't matter. Fallen. He's going to go massive on the bomb side itself. Doesn't need any assistance. No one needs assistance because they're SK and they kill everyone at 16 to 11. Um, nice finish there from SK. They didn't really seem to be. There were some spots where they were having some struggles. There were some spots where we saw really good map control uh, where you know Immortals was taking portions of the map away, which made it. Awkward for SK, but they adjusted very well, and they never seem to be out of their depth. And then Cole just hits loads of crazy op shots. So, yeah, congratulations to SK. They will top the group if I'm not mistaken. If I am, I sincerely apologise, but I'm pretty sure that I'm not mistaken. So SK will top the group. Props to them. Been a long journey, but they've made it. And uh, well done to Immortals as well. SK seem to be a consistently difficult. Well, I mean, hold on a second. Immortals 2-0 SK early this week, and uh, under a different. They 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 two zeroed SK. <laughs> in the Electronic Sports League Pro League. Now, they've been 2 0 by SK, so I guess all things are even between these two sides. But Immortals are a team which I think are going to continue to become more and more dangerous. Yeah. And I... Uh, Just need experience, really. I would not be sad if they also qualified for the uh, league, but there are other people in contention. Like, if Renegade's qualified, I'd be super hyped for that as well, because especially since we uh, expanded our face at League to the Oceanic region, we've been able to watch all those teams grow, mix, develop, etc. Um, the strength that they're playing at, generally speaking, at the moment is pretty nuts. I have nothing to add to that. That's marvellous. Thank you for <laughs> tuning in to today's <laughs> broadcast. We will be back with European Counter-Strike tomorrow and the North American Counter-Strike from Monday onwards. See you soon.